Hello and welcome to the Totem Hair channel which is all about how to do some home hair cutting um, during the current period. So I'm going to talk in the first video about, because uh, I've been asked by a lot of people what they could use um, and it may be worth investing in a little bit of equipment so that you get kind of a reasonable result. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is uh, scissors. These are um, these are about thirty five pounds, um, and they're pretty sharp. Um, you can order them on the internet. Um, they uh, I would recommend a site called CoolBlades.co.uk, um, and certainly using something like these, they, they are quite cheap hairdressing scissors, but they're good enough so that it, they they'll do the job without breaking the bank and kind of you regretting it later on. So um, I would recommend maybe a pair called the AA, AMA Uno, uh, which are around about £33 from Cool Blades. But to be honest with you, anything from a professional site that comes in about £35 is probably what you should be aiming for. Um, secondly is combs. This is um, like a standard boots comb. I think I got this in a kind of emergency or something. It was one ninety nine, and that's fine. That will do the job. Um, I have also got these ones. These ones that I use this is by a Japanese company called YS Park. They're really really good. Um, they're about twelve pounds. And then the other thing is, if you're doing children's hair, maybe think about a jumbo comb, just because um, it's a little bit less accurate, but it's a little bit easier to not get the scissors too near to the child. So um, that's that. I'm talking about if you're going to be doing um, men's hair, you're probably going to be needing, or short hair, you're going to be needing some clippers. So these are wall super taper. So they're professional. They are, they cost around about £40. Um, and they, they come with a cord. I don't use these anymore because uh, I tend to get tangled up in cords. But um, they come with attachments and the attachments that you get, they're not necessarily all coloured like this, but they, they're usually black. But what they do is they sort of clip on there. Now this is a grade four, so this is 13 millimetres. And this is what kind of you, probably the kind of length you want to be looking at. Um, they're qu it's quite easy to blend at this kind of length. Um, and you, you won't get any kind of light, you know, you're less likely to get lines and weird shapes. This is a grade five. So uh, this is a 16 millimeter. So this is also quite a good, a useful um, length to have. Um, so what you can do is you can start with a longer length and then work down to, so say five, four, three, or four, three, two. This is a one. So this is the time, type of uh, length that I would recommend that you use it sparingly or use it when you've got a little bit more confidence because it is pretty short. So that's the, um, those are the clippers. Um, uh, wall super taper or wall pro clip. Um, either of those will, will, be about, will be fine. The other thing you could use, oh, by the way, you might need some, some oil to just oil the blades because they can go quite dry quite quickly so if you, you need some oil it should come with a little tiny bottle of oil so you just put some of that on there and on there and then you let the motor kind of distribute it so the other thing you might want to use um you might need is also some sectioning clips so these are really really useful long hair or short hair they help you to work in panels so you can work section by section and you get a much better result if you have a kind of a plan and, and, a, and a step through. So definitely get some sectioning clips whether you're doing long hair or short hair. Um, and then the last thing is probably if you are doing short hair, this is a trimmer and it's quite useful for um, around the ears um, and kind of necklines. So, and it's quite, they're quite, they're, usually this one is a cordless one. So it's a Babilis Pro 4FX, which is about £15. And they are really, really easy just to tidy up necklines. So 
If you're going to be doing short clipper haircuts, having one of these is quite useful. It's not 100% necessary, but it does make your life a lot easier. So if you want to do a little bit more on the fine detail, um, I would recommend one of these, um, but it's not 100% necessary because we can use scissors and we can use clippers as well. Okay, hope this is helpful. Um, in the coming videos, I'm going to be doing uh, fringes, I'm going to be doing long haircuts, and I'm going to be doing like trims, and I'm going to be doing uh, a bit of blow drying. I'm also going to be doing short haircuts as well. So stay tuned, and um, if you have any questions, put them, send them, put them in the box below, and I'll try and answer them. Um, and if you can like the button, like it or share it, then then that would be great. Um, oh, just one question. Someone did ask me if he could do the haircut with his beard trimmer, and um, I, I'm I've never done a haircut with a beard trimmer, so I can't really tell you what the result will be. The fact is, it does grow back, so <laughs> so um, so it could be worth trying it. Just try it in the nape of the neck, you know, just see what what happens um but yeah it, it's it, beard hair is a bit different it's a bit thicker than head hair so it might not work as well but you know just it, it might be worth having a go so that's it for today and see you again in a couple of days bye